Now, that is really, really one of the hardest questions, but I will try to be quick. <laughs> I, you know, it's all right. I, I have like four favorite chapters. Okay. I, I know that the chapter on love is really important because people don't realize how much God loves them. But for me personally, my favorite chapter is the kingdom power in the Holy Spirit. Because when people have the Holy Spirit, um, and that's chapter um, 3, page 45, uh, Chapter 4, page 52. Okay. Because the Holy Spirit is so vital to these end times. Um, and there's so much fear going around. The Holy Spirit is so important. And then the other the other chapter I really like is Two Kingdoms on Earth. because uh, And that's the next one. Because there are two kingdoms. There's the kingdom of God, which is through um, Christians. And then there's the kingdom of Satan. That's why the world is such a mess. Um, and that one's really eye-opening. And then my... All right, let's find out. Robin, does she want to know if you have a denomination or you're not denominational or what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, well, as far as I'm just uh, sharing the Word of God and what Jesus shared with me, I don't uh, push or follow any particular denomination. I just do what the Word of God says. It says that these signs will follow those who believe and I believe. And it says that we will lay hands on the sick, we will cast out demons, we will cleanse lepers, we will raise the dead. Um, and this is what we should be doing and and my book in the chapter on raising the dead goes over that that's one of my favorite subjects because it's so it's so hard for us to get grasp on it it sometimes. is it is i admit fully it is very hard to get a grasp on that one well uh did you were you able to find a chapter i gave you about yes. 30 seconds yes, were you I able did. to find a place you'd like to read okay well there's so many it's like okay um but i'm reading on chapter 18 the kingdom and times awakening and a revival um and I'm kind of starting in the middle of something, but um, it's explaining about the gospel. It says the gospel means good news. That's what the gospel is, good news. News is something that has already happened. Everything about the gospel is good news. Jesus wants you to live on earth as you will in heaven. He did everything for you so that you could have an abundant life. If the gospel was just for us to get saved and go to heaven, then we would die right now after we got saved our mission is to take do dominion over all the devil's works. Read Genesis. The gospel is also that we have restored fellowship with our Father, which means we are to look and act like our Daddy. We are to have a show-and-tell gospel as a witness that Jesus is alive and loves the people of the world. This whole book is about understanding the kingdom and what it's all about. Okay. And that's a pretty good definition of what the book is about right there. How about that? And, and she mentioned some of the chapters. All the chapters uh, really have the word kingdom. Right, right. Explain that for me. Well, um, Jesus said the kingdom of God is at hand. And he said the kingdom of God is within us and the kingdom of God is within us in power. Those are all scriptures. And he went about preaching and showing the kingdom. And what he showed was he healed the sick, he raised the dead, he cast out demons, he cleansed the leopards, he preached the good news to the poor. Another subject that people get upset about. God does not want us poor. Okay, hang on a second. Let's answer another phone call here. Hi, this is Party Line. Good morning. Okay, thank you. Uh, now, I want to clarify, and I have to do this, Rob, and I'll explain why. When we, when uh, Party Line, we really don't, we don't, have a conversation particularly we don't discuss religion or politics mm -hmm. and people think oh, excuse me what are you doing today I'm interviewing a book and right. an author okay I do want to make sure that there is a distinction that that we're not going to have uh, necessarily professions of faith or against or hey excuse me or anything right. else right <laughs> the book is feed my people joy people can find out about it on their own if they would like to mm -hmm. I'm just presenting I love to interview authors from uh, southeast Oklahoma now, you said this is your first book, but not your last. Are you right. working on another one now? Right. Um, my husband and me rode a bicycle built for two across the United States. How about that? Um, and it was it was a mission <laughs> trip, so we shared Jesus, but um, we rode for 4,600 uh, 4, miles Good on a bicycle goodness. built for two, and it took us 81 days. And uh, we have a website. It's called Us For Him. And on my also on my website, you can go to that. Really and that's my, com. Check it out. Our, our co doing that together. Where my that's husband neat. is funnier than I'm. I'm the clown, but he's funnier. And so he shows pictures from the bicycle trip um, and tells stories about it. We have raccoon stories and bear stories <laughs> and snake stories and all kinds of funny stories, provision stories. We had no money at one time and just how awesome stories. So this is going to be the next book. Right. And I'm also working on a coloring book for that goes with Feed My People Joy for children. Neat. And and that'll be on my website, but that won't be a, a published book like this. That'll just be something that they can download. 
That's great, though. Okay, now we're out of time, so i got to tell you, here's the contact number. If you uh, don't have internet, it's 405-584-1579, and I'll hang on to that phone number, okay? And uh, easiest, as you said, was Amazon.com? Amazon.com is the best price and fastest. Best price and fastest for you, and it's going to be around eighteen ninety nine. is that correct? Uh, yeah, eighteen ninety eight, so right around there. Right, right around there. It could that. be less, depending on... You know, they may be having a sale right, over there. Right. Okay. Ribbonstheclown.com, and I do have that phone number. If you need any of that information, you're welcome to call me later for it. Robin, we appreciate you being in. You're infectious, and it's fun to talk with you. Well, thank you. Appreciate I appreciate your time. Uh, you inviting me. You bet. All right, we got to get out of here, okay? You have a great day, everybody out there.